Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing good because I'm just feeling myself this morning because I'm glowing, okay? Can you see this glow? Even though, yes, a lot of it is oil, but what else? Now you sabe. Now you know. Anyway, yes, I am fat and I am okay with it, okay? I am overweight. I am chubby. I am big. I am huge. I am plus size. I am, you know, extra size, whatever I want to call it. And I am fine with it, okay? I feel like I am all that plus more. And I also feel like I'm flawless, okay? <laughs> Anyway, the reason why I wanted to make this video is because I got a comment from somebody yesterday and I genuinely felt bad for her, not in a condescending way, not in a, oh, I feel bad for you kind of way. No, like I genuinely felt bad for her because I could tell that she was genuinely concerned for me and for herself. And you know, the comment she made, let me just read the comments out. I agree with everything apart from the fact that you are overweight. You even said it two times and it broke my heart because I love your physique after three beautiful children and i think my body is going to be exactly like yours considering my stature i understand the fact that we can cut down on meals but my bones are not naturally tiny and i am 82 kg and yeah like i said i could tell that she was genuinely concerned about me calling myself overweight because in the video i was talking about how some diets um advice doesn't work for me like eating small meals throughout the day it doesn't work for me it makes me fatter it makes me hungry it makes me tired it makes me stressed out okay i'd rather do intermittent fasting and yeah so she and i called myself overweight in that video i was like oh because i'm overweight it doesn't work for me because i'm overweight it, you know i know what i'm talking about so i guess that's where she's coming from um i think i had my first child and i was 92 the day i gave birth um yeah then after my second child, I was 104 the day I gave birth. And after my third child, I was 115 or 113 the day I gave birth, okay? And right now, I am 115. <laughs> I am even bigger than I was when I was carrying a baby, okay? Another thing is that a lot of you say you like my physique because of what you see on your screen, okay? Um, cameras can be deceiving, videos can be deceiving. Even though I have got a lot of comments about how when people meet me in person, they feel like I am slimmer in person than I look in videos, okay? I don't know, it might be that way for most people, it might be the other way around. Maybe I'm actually slimmer in pictures, in videos than I look in person. I feel like I'm basically slimmer in videos than I look in person. That's what I think. But people say it's the opposite, okay? The point is that you like my physique the way it is, but personally, I don't like my physique the way I am. Now, it doesn't mean that I am now going to shy away from, you know, dressing well or looking good or, you know, presenting myself in such a way that shows that I am confident in who I am and I like myself. It doesn't mean that I'm going to now wait till I be from morning to night and tie a scarf and go and lie down under my bed and just, you know, pokuru. <laughs> it doesn't mean I'll cower when I'm in public. It doesn't mean that I feel like I'm less than anybody else because I'm overweight. It doesn't mean that when I see people that are slim, I start feeling insecure. Yeah, it doesn't mean that I'm not going to wear what I want to wear. It doesn't mean that, you know, I feel less than because i'm overweight because i've seen a lot of people who just because they are overweight they feel like they're ugly they feel like they're less than they don't they can't wear certain things they can't go certain places they don't want to even be out in public they are depressed they are they are sad they are they, are, they feel like they feel like insecure about everything it's not that's not my story okay i wasn't always like this even though if i look back on my life i have never really been that bad i've never been that kind of person that oh her weight was a real big issue in her life even though i've always been overweight i've always been bigger than most of my mates okay people used to refer to me as huge so i've always been that stature so but even even as i've always been that stature i've always felt like i am so beautiful like my beauty is blinding okay i'm flawless i keep saying it like perfection is this <laughs> you know so even though yeah i've always been overweight i've never been someone who will be really really i've i've gone through phases of not being so confident or not being so comfortable you know wearing certain things or going set or not going like maybe wearing certain things okay i've always had little bits of it here and there growing up but right now it's not a thing at all and yeah i don't know what really changed in me i don't know if it is age but i don't think it's age because i have people that are my age that are still you know uh, struggling with you know their body image you know not body size okay that's a different story they're struggling with their body image okay now all that's being said it doesn't mean that i'm not working on you know losing weight now if you watch my video on my new year resolution and my not new year resolution on my vision board you'll see that i put a picture of a fit lady on the, on it on my vision board and i wrote healthy right and even if you look at that picture you see that the person i chose was not even a 
very skinny you know skin and and bones kind of person she actually has some flesh she's not that skinny i always say that my dream body is like sharon Oja. i don't know if you guys know her sharon Oja, one person i like her body i like the way she is right now and that's the way i want to be you know when i lose all the weight right and that's because i've never really liked being skinny 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 it's kind of, other people might want it though that's good. I'm not saying, I don't have anything against it. I mean, my sister is a very, very skinny person, okay? Yeah, so it doesn't mean that I'm not going to work on losing weight. I'm always, I'm one of those people that are always going to be on a fitness journey. I have, I have accepted it and that is what it's going to be, okay? I'm always going to be on a fitness journey. I'm always going to be trying to be fit because I know how my body works. I know how hormone fluctu hormonal fluctuations, you know, affects my body. I know how stress affects my body. I know how a lot of things affect my, my weight, okay? Even emotional eating, it affects my weight. So I know all of these things. And again, I am not about to do plastic surgery. I'm not one of those people who wants to do plastic surgery. Even if I wanted it, I don't have the money for it, first of all. And even if I had the money for it, I don't have the liver for it, okay? Kudos to those people who want to do it. I don't have any against it i always feel like if it's what you need to get you to the next level to get you to that confidence level to get you to wear certain things to get you to where you know you're comfortable in your body then please go for it as long as you're doing it safely you're doing it with a professional you're not going to one backyard you know motel or somewhere and they're injecting your butt with a, 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 what do you call it all those uh, plastic or liquid or whatever as long as you're not going to all those quack doctors and stuff then i'm fine with it okay i mean if you like it i love it okay that's for people who want to do plastic surgery Anyway, I know what I'm going into because some people do plastic surgery without knowing that it takes there's a lot of aftercare involved and there's a lot of you know checkup and maintenance involved in you know having such bodies or doing plastic surgery. Some people don't know about it, so just educate yourself and if it's okay by you, then go and do it. But for me, oh, and this body, I know they do one because I don't have the liver, neither do I have the energy for that. Anyway, so since I don't, I, since I know that I'm not going to ever do plastic surgery. Not, okay, not ever, never say never because I don't know, things might change tomorrow and I'll be like, hmm, you know, but since I know that, I am always going to be confident, I'm always going to like myself, I'm always going to dress the way I want, wear what I want to wear, okay, if you're a kind of person, see, being overweight is not, it's not a sin, it's not a crime, okay, yes, work on your weight, yes, try and reduce your weight, yes, try and be healthy, but at the same time, dress for the body that you have right now, okay dress for the body that you have right now look at my body i am wearing a crop it's not crop okay but it's a very you know body fitting tank top and yeah i'm wearing it because i like it and i'm gonna wear it <laughs> yeah just dress for your body if you're overweight get the right on this some of us our breasts are reaching our our thighs our knees but many people don't know because we'll wear the brother will raise it up you know from where it is to you know where it ought to be okay so Dress for yourself, wear the right on this. If you're someone that likes to feel snatched all the time, you like to wear all those body con, body shapers, body D's, body waist trainers, whatever. If you like to do them, then it's fine. It's not me, okay? I don't like wearing them. I, if I wear waist trainer or body shaper, best believe in the next one hour, I'm going to look for the nearest bathroom and go and remove it, okay? I've realized that it's not me, so I don't even buy it anymore. I don't wear it, okay? If I want to open my tummy, I'm going to open it. The rest of you should close your eyes if it's paining you. If you don't, if you don't like it, just remove your eyes from my body, okay? That That's how I feel personally. Um, if I want to wear crop top, if I want to wear anything, you are going to see the folds, the stretch marks, the rumples, whatever. You're going to see it. If I want to wear shorts, you know, if I want to wear shorts, like short shorts, bum shorts, you know, whatever I want to wear, you're going to see all the rumples on my leg. You're going to see everything, the clashing ties, the, 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 the flapping skin. You're going to see it, okay? So if you don't like seeing it, then just remove your eyes from my body. I think there are other things you can look at, okay? So that's how I feel right now. That's why I can wear whatever I want to wear. I can do whatever I want to do and I don't feel any way. Because the truth is that, okay, for instance, now, as most of you clicked on this video, you saw my arms. I have large arms, okay? Like, I have I have large arms. Like, you can see that I have crescent monar arms, right? But many of you, as you clicked on this video, I'm sure you saw it and it was either normal to you because, I mean, I'm overweight, so my arms are going to be big. Or you're like, hmm, her arms are really big. Oh. Or you didn't even notice it, okay? Either ways, none of you are going to comment about it okay now i said it now maybe that's why you will not comment about it but i'm sure that if i even if i hadn't said this none of you would have commented on my arms right in fact if i if i was even to get comments i'm sure i'll get comments like oh i like your skin oh see your glowing skin oh this one those are comments i'm going to get so at the end of the day i don't even get enough um um looks or hate or comments from people to now stop me from wearing what i want to wear does, does that make sense like in the grand scheme yes i still get some comments here and there i see me see people who see me and say ah you've added so much weight oh yes that's don't fat rich i still get such comments here and there but it doesn't really hurt me it might pinch me small oh I'm, I'm, I'm still a human being i'll be like uh -uh. but what even pinches me is like you don't have to say it i'm not saying that you should not 
recognize that I am fat, but you don't have to bring it to my knowledge, okay? Because I know, you know and I know, so let's let's just move on, okay? So that's the only part that pinches me a bit, but even at that, it doesn't make me not keep managing with them or start hating them or anything. Just, no, we move on, we're still friends, we're still talking, we're still normal, okay? So, I, I, I don't, I've never, I don't really, I've never gone out wearing anything and people come and meet me and be like, look at how you are, why are you wearing that? Why is your top like that? All I'm trying to say is that I don't even get enough comments to stop me from wearing what I want to wear. And even if I used to get the comments, it doesn't matter. Like, it doesn't matter. I know myself. I know I know what I'm comfortable in. I know what I like. I like what I like, okay? Once I wear it and I feel good, it's fine, right? And that's being said, it doesn't mean that I now, I'm now proud of being fat. I'm not one of those people that will come and be saying, I'm proud, I'm big, and I'm proud. No, I cannot be proud of being fat because I don't even want to be fat. I don't want to be this size. I want to be skinnier. I want to be, like, I'm not like that, but I want to be, I want to be skinnier. I want to be smaller, okay? So I'm never going to be saying, oh, I'm proud, I'm, I'm big, and I'm proud, I'm fat, and I'm proud. No, it's not a thing to be proud about. In my own opinion, it's not a thing to be proud about because it is a walking evidence that you have long truth. So you cannot control yourself and you're lazy. That is it. Except you have you know health issues that you know affect you the percentage of people that actually have health issues that make them overweight are even very tiny okay so i'm not referring to you if you're the rest of if you're like the rest of us if you're like me that i know that now me carrying my hand chop waiting make me they were there as i did okay if you're like me i know that is not true so that is your problem okay just accept it and move on don't come and start trying to convince yourself and convince the rest of us that you know for some reason that you cannot control your fat so you're proud about it it's a lie we all know, you, you know, and I know that now food, the way you chop, make you do the way you did. Okay, so there's no point trying to deceive anybody. I'm not proud of being fat, but I am okay with myself the way I am, and I'm working towards getting to the weight that I want to get. Okay, so in the meantime, before I get to that body that will now make me come and pepper the rest of you, okay, before I get to that machine or just size that I'm now come and uh, start with, hey. <laughs> When I get to that size, kind of thing I'll be wearing. Eh? <laughs> Funny enough, I don't even think I'm going to dress drastically different because I, I already wear what I want to wear. But then I'm sure it will sit well. You know, from the, from outfits that you're wearing now, you're pulling here or pulling there down because it's not really sitting well. By that, by, by the time I get to that size, those outfits will sit well. Prepare to be prepared, bro. Prepare to be prepared. But pending that time, I'm going to wear what I want to wear. I'm going to look how I want to look, and I'm okay with it. And I think that it is okay. I feel like we should have. I think that's my message in this video. We should be okay having an honest matter of fact conversation about things like this it is not about yes girl yes girl you look good don't let anybody deceive you you look good you know yeah you are um you are healthy you can be healthy at any weight it's a lie okay science is telling you it's a lie your body self is telling you it's a lie okay i have aches and pains in places that i did not even know i could have aches and pains before okay i go to bed sometimes with headache and I wake up with headaches okay there's so many things that go on with me health wise i know that it's not good for me and i know that it is induced by my weight so don't come and try to deceive me and say you are still healthy no i'm not healthy the way i am okay that i'm accepting does not mean that i'm healthy the way i am i'm just <laughs> i'm just being matter of fact about it i don't know am i too honest for you guys some people are not comfortable with people being dishonest but it is what it is like why do we need to lie about it or shy away from it or you know distort distort things or try to paint things in a different light when it is not what i think I don't know. There's no point lying to each other. There's no point lying to ourselves. We still know how we feel when we go to bed at night. Yeah, I think that's it. That's the end of this video, okay? That's pretty much what I came to talk about. So, sis, you that say you like my stature, mm -mm, don't like it though, please. I'm, I'm telling you as a sister that loves you and wants what is best for you, please do not get to where I got to. Now, food carry me reach where I did. Okay, so avoid eating junk food. Avoid eating emotionally. Avoid overeating. Avoid eating the wrong things. Avoid it and you will remain around the same weight. I mean, people add weight after they have kids. You might not have to add almost 20 something kg like I did. Okay, you don't, you don't have to. Please, I reject this for you. Nobody should be like this. Okay, but at the same time, I'm still all that plus more. My beauty is blinding all my enemies right now. I can feel it. <laughs> I can feel it. They're like, who does she think she is? It's not my problem. It's your problem. It's a you thing, okay? It's a you issue. I'm sorry I can't help you with it. Um, yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. I'm on my way out now. I've delayed so much, but thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching. I hope you got something from this video. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.